Does Jim Cramer on Mad Money talk rubbish? Yes, he spends most of his time making silly sound effects. The guy is very, very smart, but his show is designed specifically to sell viewers, get you to watch, shout boyer, God knows what else, and uh, manipulate the market. And I've proved it time and time again. J&J is one of the best companies you can buy. In my opinion, it's going to double. Litigation is not an issue to sell the stock. He said sell it because it's involved in litigation. He held it on the charitable trust. And uh, he said get rid of it because uh, litigation, I don't want to be tied up in litigation. Well, ever since he sold it, by the way, uh, it's been going up. We reached the bottom uh, and it's been going up. I bought the bottom. I did the very opposite of uh, what Jim Cramer said. He often talks rubbish. It's designed to either manipulate the stock or create panic in the market and get uh, the sort of people that like to shout boya and make silly noises to call in uh, to uh, to his show. That's essentially uh, you know what he does. And um, that happened again. So what did I do? I did the very opposite. And I didn't do it because Jim Cramer said so. I did it because I read the numbers. I looked at the balance sheet. I looked at the debt position. I looked at the profit. I looked at the loss. I looked at the inside traders. I went and studied the stock. And the fact of the matter is, the reason why the litigation has brought the price down is um, because people are uncertain of its future and don't want to hang around. But the people that bought J&J bought it years ago for a fraction of the price it is now, and it's being used as uh, a source of funds. Uh, however, there's no reason whatsoever to sell the company. Let me share with you some more details. The revenue is increasing and it's going to continue to increase. The operating income is increasing. The net income is increasing. In fact, uh, net income is up 165%. Uh, the litigation could be solved tomorrow. They just don't want to pay it out in the most expensive way, but they can. The balance sheet, if I share with you the balance sheet, we look at the balance sheet, $166 billion on assets. It's 94%, uh, 94 percent, 94%, sorry, 94 billion on liability. So that's a very healthy balance sheet. 26 billion is long term debt, which is the right, the right balance for me, as I've always explained the amount of uh, debt, long term debt you can afford. Their margins are 67 percent doing very well, operating margin. Does this look like a company to you that's going bust anytime soon? Does this look like a company that's heavily involved in litigation and going to lose you money? No, I'm a sorry, but Jim Cramer talks rubbish. And if I met him in person, I would say you talk rubbish. You are a very smart guy. You know what you're doing. You're manipulating the market. You invite certain guests on that uh, get you viewers. Uh, you let people phone in, make silly noises and God knows what else. And you should be actually giving decent advice because some people uh, use you for financial advice. I know they shouldn't. You always say, I'm not here to entertain. I'm here to, I'm here to teach. But really, one of the best companies in the world, J&J, &J, with a huge upside on the on the best or the uh, 42% on the highest, 13%, uh, which is around about the S&P on the mid, but where we are way, way above the mid because of the heavy selling, uh, and only a 1% on the downside in the worst case scenario. You know these figures. I know these figures. Everyone who reads the balance sheet does. Uh, we know uh, ab about the inside trading. Most of that was fueled by you telling everybody that the stock was rubbish and going down the toilet. I think it's very, very irresponsible. And uh, look, look, it's got a short interest of 0.55. No one is shorting the stock. They just dumped it when it went down. Simple as that. I think uh, you need to um, consider... You know, some people watch your show for uh, advice and uh, you've got a lot of uh, people that are influenced by your uh, your f your um, fandom of football and shouting silly, silly phrases. Uh, and you're ex you're exciting an audience the very the, the same way Donald Trump excites an audience and, and uh maybe not always gives accurate information. You need to give accurate information because people trust you. And the fact of the matter is Johnson Johnson is one of the best companies in the world. And uh, I'm not influenced unlike you or paid like you to say it. I'm just an investor looking at the facts and the numbers. And uh, I've been suggesting 
suggesting, not advising like you do, suggesting to my audience that um, J&J is oversold and it's a good buy. And since you sold it, it's been going up. A bit, my, a bit like Kathy Wood does that. Um, but anyway, I just want to make this video and put it out that Johnson Johnson is an extremely good buy, even now. Um, and click above my head if you want to know why I think so and where all my links are. And look below here and I'll post you more information of Jim Cramer and other things that he says around J&J. &J, and I'll put it out there and I will you know, prove over and over again that Jim Cramer talks rubbish. Until next time. Sorry, Jim. You just do talk rubbish and I'm not here to uh, to pat anybody on the head and talk nonsense. We aim to be the most honest channel on YouTube TV. Till next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.